Hello, my beautiful family. I hope you are all well. And just let me pray over this, dear loving Heavenly Father. I just pray over this video that it will be a blessed video. It will bless everyone, Lord, who um, is listening, watching, and also you will give me words and wisdom to speak what I've got to say to them. Well, excuse me for the wind. I know it's very windy here today, but um, me and Andrea, oh hey, wind. Sorry about the wind, guys. But me and Andrea, we are going to hold today to preach the gospel. So we, we, uh, we would love your prayers for us, please, guys. Um, I'm, I'm up, gonna upload this now, so it uploads quickly. And I'm asking Heavenly Father to bless you all and fill you, fill you with his perfect love and keep you in it. Make his face shine upon you. Jesus Christ, the light of the world, bursting through with light into your lives right now, in Jesus' name. Being gracious unto you, lifting up his grace upon you. So much grace give them, Father, each and every one who's watching, in Jesus' name. Lord, lift up the health, the beauty, the light, and the strength of your countenance upon them and give them peace in Jesus' name. Deliver them, uphold them with your free spirit. Lord, have mercy. Lord, do exceeding abundantly above this prayer and bless them richly and abundantly, adding no sorrow with it, Lord. Deliver them out of any trouble. Lord, make them bold and courageous to share the gospel of Jesus Christ in these final moments because we could be out of here it could be today guys it could be today that we are out of here so God bless you all um, the main reason I'm coming on here is to ask you all if you would if you would pray for for me and Andrea as we go and we take the gospel the good news um, to Hull the good news is that there is everlasting life through Jesus Christ. And if you haven't already laid hold of your salvation, well, I urge you and implore you that you do not hesitate any longer because Jesus Christ is coming. He's going to take all who have ever believed on him up in the rapture at any second now. And then this world is going to be turned upside down. So if you don't know Jesus Christ yet, then I, I urge you to get to know him by believing first the gospel of Jesus Christ. Because uh, we have all sinned, the Bible says. The Bible says the wages of sin is death, but the free gift of God is everlasting, eternal life through Jesus Christ our Lord. There is salvation in no other name, only Jesus Christ. So windy, it's getting on my nerves. Hold on a minute. So, so everybody is appointed to death until they believe the gospel that Jesus was sacrificed on the cross to shed his blood for the forgiveness of all our sins. And when you believe it is past, present and future sins, he was buried and on the third day he rose again from the dead jesus loves you if you haven't laid hold of your salvation then believe that gospel message that jesus took the penalty in full on the cross for all your sin they buried him he rose again on the third day believe that truly in your heart and call upon jesus and this is the only requirement for you to be saved heaven bound and rapture ready you must be born again to enter the kingdom which happens the moment you believe the death the burial the resurrection of jesus christ for all our sins and call upon him or confess him as lord Whew. it's as simple as that god has made it so simple He's made it so simple because he wants all to be saved. The Bible says 
that he wants all to be saved, to come to a knowledge of salvation. God wants none to perish, but unfortunately, um, many churches have not. Many churches are asleep and they don't even realize we're in the final seconds of the end. Um, they don't realize it, many of them, and they, they're not telling people the gospel. Many of them are not telling people how easy it is to be saved. And it is, and it doesn't matter what you have done. Jesus will not turn anybody away who believes on him. No matter if you've committed murder and, and well, you think of all the heinous things that man could do. Well, Jesus shed blood is enough to cover over and blot out all your sin, past, present and future. When you believe, believe, believe that he was crucified indeed. Believe that he did rise again from the dead on the third day. Call upon him and you'll be saved. Hold on a second. That is it. That's the only requirement for you to be saved. So please would you pray for me and Andrea today as we take the gospel to a city called Hull. It's on the east, northeast coast of the UK. It's a port. It's a port where people get ferries to uh, uh, Holland and other places. That's where we're going today. I'm going to make this video short um, so that hopefully you guys will pray for us. I want to thank you all for all your prayers the past prayers and the prayers that you're going to say today I thank you for and I want to thank you for all your support because we wouldn't have been able to keep this going if it weren't for you but you'll see us today on the streets of Hull preaching the gospel and after that Andrea can't come with me every day um, after that I will be going to York on my own possibly I've even thought of going to Bradford on my own which is a mostly Muslim uh, population, but I'm, I, I've, I, the Lord has put it on my heart to go to Bradford, so I'm thinking of going there. Anyway, guys, God bless you all. Jesus loves you. He's coming any moment now, and the Lord shall descend from heaven with a shout and the voice of the archangel and the trumpet of God, and all who ever believed on Jesus will be taken up taken up up in the clouds to meet the Lord Jesus in the air and so shall we ever be with the Lord Jesus then this world is going to be turned upside down then the Antichrist is going to come and he'll find you no matter where you are and he'll cause everyone to receive his mark in their right hands everyone who takes the mark of the beast shall be cast into the lake of fire and I want to make this clear, the viper bite is not the mark of the beast. For starters, the mark of the beast happens in the tribulation, and we're not even in the tribulation yet, and we don't have a beast yet. I know born again Christians that have had it, um, and they're full of the Holy Spirit and full of the love of God. And there's people going around and saying, you know, that it's the mark of the beast. So basically what they're saying is, you're going to be cast into the lake of fire if you've taken the, that, that uh, viper. Well, it's not true. If you're somebody who's taken the viper, well, first of all, repent from it. Say, sorry, Lord, do not take any more. And trust in the Lord. Trust in the Lord like never before people uh, we need him so badly so that's what i wanted to say that, that viper bite is not the mark we haven't got a beast yet and those who take the mark of the beast will know specifically that it's his mark they will know that it's his mark the mark of the beast they will know that is his mark so there uh, that's it i'm going to get off because uh, 
I want this to upload and and uh, hopefully you get it. God bless you guys. I love you. Bye.